Hello there. <clears throat> so it's the uh, beginning of the summer holidays. There's only one place a man can actually get some peace and quiet in order to make a video. That's here in the garden shed. Now, ac acoustically speaking, this is actually a great place to make a video. Just uh, not much room and not very practical. Candy smells of various chemicals, lawn mowers, and uh, other things, and barbecue. Which so far this year I haven't managed to get out because it's been a god awful year here in England. So far we haven't had the weather to actually do much of anything. I haven't been able to get out and do videos recently because of uh, various normal life things getting in the way. Uh, car repairs and some work around the house, but uh, I've got a trip coming up very soon that should yield some great videos. However, in the meantime, I just wanted to make a video in order to touch base with you and uh, kind of uh, catch up with you. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, Dave, Dave Bridge, came up with the idea to do a top 10 of the images I've taken so far this year, and uh, that's actually a really good idea. I don't know how catchy that'll be for you guys, but uh, well, we'll see how it goes. So, kicking off this uh, list uh, with uh, image number, well, image number ten, and this isn't uh, this isn't in any way reflective of how good or bad the images are. It's just. How I personally feel about the images themselves. But number 10, we're going back to uh, June, where I went to Summerhill Force. Now, this is probably one of the best images I've taken at Summerhill Force. It's, uh, it was uh, pretty well composed. The elements of the image actually work out really well. And obviously, the, we've got the waterfall looking really nice in a sea of pretty dark environment. The greens and the uh, dark rocks are all contrasting nicely for it and I enjoyed uh, going to uh, some hill force again. As we move down the list to number nine, uh, this is the image I got at Rydal Water. Now, this was also back in June but uh, it's the first time I've actually got an image at Rydal Water that I'm actually quite happy with. Uh, the last one I uh, tried to take was a little bit too late for the autumnal colours. This one was a midsummer image. Now we've got the uh, boathouse framed nicely by the uh, uh, trees and uh, foliage that we've got in the image, and it all makes the scene nicely. Also, got a little bit of reflection in the water, which I do like if I can get that. Bridal water is a very difficult one to get. That kind of reflection in the image. Moving on to uh, number number eight on the list. <clears throat> this uh, particular image was taken at uh, Oldswater. Uh, one of the things I'm actually uh, one of the things that I really like about this image. It isn't one of the best images I actually took at Oldswater. But what I do like is the way the light's hitting this little field on the mountain. I've also got a bit more light hitting the mountains uh, surrounding it as well and uh, with the uh, calmness of the water that day, all in all I think that makes a really nice image. That was a really good day out going to Walls Water on the kayak and getting out there again and uh, yeah this image does invoke a lot of memories for me and it is a, is a really nice image. Moving on to uh, Moving on to number seven. This particular shot is actually just an image that I took when I was out on a walk uh, back in uh, January. We had a we had a little bit of uh, snow and we had a very wintry look. And uh, as I'm walking along, walking the dog and walking with my daughter, we just passed this bench in a park in front of the uh, local church. I'm not really a religious man myself, but uh, the overall image with the snow I just felt looked really good. It's very, very wintry image, very um, 
almost Christmas card sort of look to it. And I just basically picked the camera up and snapped it using the bench as a foreground interest. As you can see in the image, I've actually got a really nice sky on there as well. And all in all, I think that image comes together, together quite nicely. And that's definitely, definitely in my uh, top 10 of my favourite images that I've taken this year so far. Moving down the list, we've got a slightly more personal image. This one's of, uh, of the family dog. Now, we've spent, <laughs> probably spent about half an hour trying to get a decent shot of the dog, and uh, after all that, it just decided to randomly sit somewhere on one of these logs, and uh, I just caught it looking at the camera just at the right moment, and uh, overall, it's come out to be a really good image, and probably one of the best I got of the dog that day. Uh, pet photography isn't my forte, so I don't really have the patience. I'm more of a, more of a landscape photographer than I am a people or animal photographer. But that's, uh, that definitely makes number six on my list. Because of how, how good it came out as just a random shot, just picking the camera up and getting the shot. And for number five, we're heading in South Wales. Now this was uh, near the uh, this was the near Churchdoor Cove, which was a giant sea stack uh, just out in the sea there, uh, down in South down on the South Wales coast. You may remember the video that I did uh, back in May when I was with Mark Kelly. Now this uh, image that I actually like isn't actually the Churchdoor Cove itself. It's just of the sea coming in, and one of the reasons I like it is it looks it looks like it's from a pretty uh, exotic country. It doesn't look uh, it doesn't look like what you'd expect to see in Wales. It looks uh, it's more like something you'd expect to see on a nice volcanic island or something like that. But the uh, South Wales coast is known for being quite rugged and. Uh, Quite, uh, quite stunning. And it was a very, very enjoyable, enjoyable weekend that was until the weather rolled in. Now, as I switch to number four, this is the uh, four. Uh, this is number four in my uh, favourite images of this year so far. This again is in South Wales when I went for that weekend away, and it's the uh, it's that stunning sunset we had. I was perched on the cliffs with the uh, bluebells in the foreground and the cliffs in the background with the sunset behind it. I think we got so lucky that day with the uh, conditions, how they all fell together. And uh, that image, absolutely fantastic the way it came out. The camera captured all the colours perfectly. The, uh, com the composition was just right, leading nicely into the image. And overall, I was really happy with that shot. It's one of the best shots I've actually taken this year so far. It is one of the planned shots, because I did it for the video. It's not one of the random shots, like some of the ones that have appeared in this list. But uh, even though it's a planned shot, it's good to see that it actually all came out to plan. So at number three, we have a much more personal shot for me. Uh, this is actually a picture of my daughter when we went for a walk back in March and uh, all the daffodils are out. So if you're in the UK, you know all the uh, regular flowers that come out in the various months. But uh, if you're from the States or uh, from anywhere else in the world, around March time, that's when the daffodils kind of come out in this country. That's these yellow flowers that you can see in the foreground. And this was just a shot taken on my phone. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't a photography day, it wasn't a go out and get photos day, it was literally just a, I had my camera phone with me. Uh, my daughter was just taking her sunglasses off at that moment, I was knelt down uh, doing something, I think I was doing my shoelace up. And I just happened to flick the camera on my uh, phone and take the shot just at that right moment. And this is one of those more random shots that... Uh, more of a candid portrait. 
but it actually really worked out really well. Compositionally speaking, we've got the flowers making up the foreground interest, and we've got the uh, colour of the flowers making up a really interesting detail in the image and drawing the attention into the image uh, to my daughter, who's obviously the subject. That's got to be one of the best uh, photos I've taken, one of the best portraits I've taken this year as well. Well, we're now on my uh, top list, so now we're at number two. We get very close to the number one. Number two is actually another photograph of my daughter, which was taken at uh, the uh, Longridge Field Day, which is like a, it's a bit like a carnival day uh, sort of thing. But uh, my daughter was one of the uh, uh, the flower girls in the procession. And while we were sat waiting uh, in the uh, local community centre to actually set off, uh, my daughter was getting a bit bored, and I just happened to get this shot just as she turned i think she was looking through the window behind me and uh i just happened to have my camera with the uh, 70 to 200 millimeter lens on literally one of those moments where you just pick the camera up focus and take the photograph not much thought went into the image it was one of those random candid moments i was really lucky to get the shot and it turned out really really good it's a really good uh, shot of her I'm actually quite chuffed how that one came out. That's why it's making number two on my list. Now for the big one. Number one on my list is a uh, somewhat random shot that I took in the Lake District. It didn't actually uh, didn't actually make it into the video, unfortunately. It was uh, one of those random moments where I just had my camera with me and I decided to take a shot, and it's. Uh, on the same jetty that I used for most of the shots I actually took in my Windermere video. As you can see, the sunset is absolutely stunning. The uh, reflected light on the clouds and the reflected colour is absolutely beautiful. If you look deep into the image, there's uh, some cloud and mist coming in over the mountains. It's just, uh, just covering them and it's creating a nice layering effect of the mountains in the background of the image. Using the boat as jetty as fog, the boat and the jetty as foregrounds, leading to the trees and mountains in the background and that beautiful, stunning sunset right at the back of the image. That is the best shot I, I personally feel that I've taken this year. But what do you think? I mean, if you follow my, uh, if you uh, follow my channel and my photography on a regular basis. Do you, uh, do you agree with my list? Are these, do you, uh, do you agree that these are the uh, top 10 of best of my images? And, uh, let me know in the comments below. More importantly, do you like the style of video? Would you like to see more of this? Uh, there's, uh, there's a few other ideas I could have, like, uh, my, uh, top 10 of YouTubers and things like that, or rather YouTubers' photos. I just feel like it's a bit too. Uh, I think I think that's a bit too critiquey, and I don't like do. I don't like the idea of doing critiques because what right have I got to comment on somebody else's artwork? I've enjoyed taking these images this year. I've enjoyed getting out again with the camera, and uh, looking forward to getting out a bit more. Hopefully. The next video that should come up will be from uh, Leadman's Club, with any luck. It's a trip that I'm planning uh, this coming week. Uh, my uh, my daughter enjoys uh, going out on videos with me because... Uh, I don't know why she enjoys it, but she en I think she just enjoys spending time with me, but she does like appearing on the videos now and again. Uh, so we're going to go out and take a nice... Uh, take her daddy-daughter day and go and, uh, and go and see the waterfall there. So that should be the next video coming up. And in a few weeks' time, I'm uh, visiting North Wales. So I've got a few uh, video ideas planned there. Sort of uh, some uh, wild camping. A uh, few uh, sites that I want to visit. And if the weather's permitted, I should get a few sunset videos in. Which isn't something I get to do that much. Especially not this year. So hopefully, 
all being well, that's all coming up over the next few weeks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below what you think of my selection of photos and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, bye for now.